Hi everyone, welcome back to another Common Tennis video. Today I'm bringing you guys my review of the 2019 Babylon Pure Arrow. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So before I get into the review, I just want to give a quick shout out once again to the racket guys who have provided me with this racket to play test. So thanks so much guys. If you guys are interested in buying some tennis gear or badminton gear, these guys will hook you up with anything you need for all the racket sports that you play. Just check the link down in my description to see more. So I had some time on court with the Babolat Pure Arrow, the new one that's coming out. So they actually named it the Babolat Pure Arrow 2019 edition. So I guess that, that's what we're going to be calling it, the Babylon Pure Arrow 2019. Well, this rack is pretty much a slightly updated version of the previous Pure Arrow that came out last year. And this was really my first time playing with one of the with a racket in the Babylon Pure Arrow line. This review was going to be exclusively talking about this racket, not so much comparing it to the previous version. Before I show you guys the play test of this racket, I'm just going to go over a few of the specs of the racket and let you guys know what it's actually like on paper. So. The weight of the racket is 300 grams, which is 10.6 ounces. So the head size is 100 square inches, which is a bit bigger than the racket I'm used to. I play with the Yonex V-Core 95 and a 16 by 19 open string pattern. So with that in mind, take a look at this play test and you guys are going to see how all those specs come together on the tennis court. I hope you guys enjoy. No. Welcome back. So I hope that seeing that video kind of gave you guys a good indication of what that racket actually hits like. You can see the movement of the ball. So based on some of the specs we were talking about earlier with the headlight balance open string pattern and the general aerodynamic shape of the racket, it created a lot of racket head speed 
which then translated into a lot of spin and power. So another thing that contributed to that is actually the FSI technology, which is like the which is the new technology that they're putting into the racket. So this is how Babolat describes this FSI technology that's that's new to the 2019 Pure Aero. This is straight from their website. So they describe the FSI spin as an open string pattern with oblong shaped grommets to generate more spin. So they've actually changed the grommet design to to allow for a more open string pattern and create more spin. Now, I don't, like I said, I haven't played with the previous version, so I don't know how big of an improvement the spin is from the last one to this one, but what I can tell you is that this racket, the 2019 Pirero, offered a ton of top spin on both sides. So whichever shot you wanted to pick, if you are a player who has a naturally a quick racket head speed, this racket is gonna be absolutely amazing because the spin you're gonna generate is pretty much one of the best I've ever played with. As you guys know, all these new rackets coming out, they're all really good rackets, but the key is to pick the one that suits your game the best. The Babolat Pure Arrow 2019, it's more for a baseline player with a modern game. So what I found was that as long as you're picking smart big targets, so you're aiming for the corners, but giving yourself a, a good margin, it's pretty much impossible to miss with this racket because of the amount of spin that it offers. Not only that, but that 100 square inch head size it feels like it's even bigger than 100 square inches when you're playing with it because I felt like I was hitting the sweet spot every single time on that racket just because of the, the sheer size and the shape of the racket. Offered a ton of forgiveness on my shots. So even if I was a little bit off center on the string bed when I hit, it felt very crisp. The only kind of thing I can take away from the racket is that I would have liked it to be a little bit more stable up at net, but that, that comes down to the, the bigger head size. The bigger head size just is naturally a little less stable at the net when you're when you're going for that straightforward shot. And that the same is said when uh, if you're trying to flatten out the ball. So this racket is not gonna flatten out the ball as well as say, for example, my V-Core 95 would. Um, it just comes down to the shape of the racket and, and the string pattern as well. In terms of the actual cosmetic of the racket, I think it looks really great on court. It looks really good in pictures. If you guys check my Instagram, you can check what it looks like on there. It really photographs well. Uh, the color pops on the court as well. It's very easy to spot across different courts. So if you're playing with this racket, it's definitely gonna be noticeable. One thing that I would take away though, cosmetically, is that it does look very similar to the previous version. So if you're somebody who's looking to change the racket from the previous version, uh, oftentimes people won't even notice that, that it is the new one. I actually saw on Babolat's Instagram, they posted a picture and they said spot the difference and I read the comments and half the people in the comments had no idea what they were talking about and they didn't know that they actually saw the new racket in the picture. So that's just an example that shows that the cosmetic, it's not so different from the previous versions where if you didn't like the last one, it's gonna change your mind to this one. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, just a slight different change in the in the color of the yellow. I definitely recommend that you guys try this racket out. If you guys are looking for a spin friendly racket that's gonna help you guys generate a ton of top spin, this is one of the best, if not the best racket to generate top spin that's on the market right now. So with all that knowledge, I hope that helps you make a decision on a racket purchase in the near future. Definitely check this one out. All right guys, thanks so much for for watching another common tennis video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and share this video with a friend. All right, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.